We have finally climbed to the top of the stack of the 30 storylines we are watching for 2019. Now, it's been a long time since the Cleveland Browns have been number one in anything. They are number one on our list of storylines we're watching. Can they live up to an unprecedented degree of hype and expectation? Really, more than anything that any Browns team has endured for the 20 years that the Browns have been back in the NFL. Quick history lesson. The Cleveland Browns are now the Baltimore Ravens, the original Cleveland Browns. Now I know they left the name and the colors and the records behind, but that franchise moved to Baltimore in 1996. The Browns ceased to exist. They returned as an expansion team in 1999. They've been to the playoffs once in the last 20 years. They haven't had a winning record since 2007. Last year, even though everybody was excited about what they did, they were still 7-8-1. and one. This year, all of a sudden, people expect the Browns, thanks to the arrival of Odell Beckham Jr., plus other moves that were made by GM John Dorsey, to be a great team, to win the division, to contend for a Super Bowl berth. And I'm not saying they can't, but one of the biggest things they're going to have to do is handle the expectations, and deal with the adversity, the extra adversity that comes from losing games, right? If you're the Browns last year and you lose your opener, who cares? You're the Browns this year, the Titans are rolling into town, and everybody thinks the Browns are going to roll the Titans, and the Titans are good enough to beat anyone, any place, any time, and I kind of think the Titans are going to win that game. I just have a gut feeling that the Browns are going to be shocked to see that Teams like the Titans aren't going to say, oh, okay, Browns, it's your year. Here you go. The Browns are going to have to be ready to take it. I think it's going to be a great sign for the Browns if they do win that game. I don't think they will. So how do they deal with 0-1? And then they go on the road to the Jets week two, Monday Night Football. If they lose that one and fall to 0-2, how will they handle adversity? That's going to be the real question. Adversity will come at some point. And I think Baker Mayfield is already skilled beyond his years at getting his team focused, at getting his team motivated, at getting his team ready to do everything they need to do. But my big question is, Freddie Kitchens, the head coach of the team, and I love Freddie Kitchens. We interviewed him at the league meetings. I think he's a great guy, and I think he's got the potential to lead the Browns to a special place. But a year ago, you know, somebody had said to me, hey, why don't you list from 1 to 100 the guys out there that you think are viable candidates to be head coaches in the NFL next year? I wouldn't have put Freddie Kitchens on that list of 1 to 100. So look at how the world has changed for him in just one year. Can he step up into this job? Maybe he can. We've seen plenty of successful assistant coaches fail to thrive as head coaches. This is a guy who had success for a limited period of time last year as the interim offensive coordinator, and he parlayed that into the head coaching job. Can he get it done? That is going to be one of the biggest factors in determining whether or not the Cleveland Browns can live up to the expectations that are being heaped upon them by so many people. And that's why Freddie Kitchens would like everyone to just simmer down now with the expectations and let it all play out because the higher the expectations, the harder it's going to be for Kitchens, the harder it's going to be for the Browns. And 7-8-1 and one next year would be viewed as a major disappointment over last year's 7-8-1 and one that, that literally sparked a parade in Cleveland as it relates to the excitement that it brought to the team. Can they take it to the next level? We'll see. Biggest storyline we're watching as 2019 approaches. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.